Hi everyone, this is AFCR DTV and welcome to highlights of AFC Russian and Diamonds against Newport Pagnell Town from the Chrome Sports and Trophies UCL Premier Division on Saturday afternoon. So with the Diamonds confirmed as UCL Premier Division champions on Tuesday evening at Sileby, the pressure was somewhat off, although there was still the aim for the Diamonds to collect 100 points in the season. Diamonds' first effort there came after a Declan Rogers free kick was swung in and defender Rob Tapp got the ball goalward. Although away keeper Josh McAdoo pulled off a comfortable save. That before good running from Charlie Butt got him behind the Newport Pagnell back line and he was able to unleash his shot, although again McAdoo was equal to it. That before Ewan Riley and also Matt Brady had efforts on goal for Newport Pagnell, although Matt Finley was there to save the day for the Diamonds. So at half-time, after a first 45 minutes that was somewhat disjointed and stop-start not helped through a referee that was happy to hold play up through almost any reason, AFC Russian and Diamonds nil, Newport Pagnell Town nil. However, as the second half started to get underway, Diamonds would take the lead. Sam Brown and Scott Joseph combining to work the ball in as far as Declan Rogers, who shot neatly past McAdoo for the opener, that coming in the 49th minute. That before Joseph had a bobbling shot go toward goal that McAdoo dealt with again. But from the resulting corner, that time Joseph would not be beaten and he headed Diamonds into a two-goal lead in the 81st minute. So a hard-fought game, a very entertaining affair. Diamonds penultimate league game of the season would finish AFC Russian and Diamonds 2, Newport Pagnell Town 0. Man of the match would go to Declan Rogers, that chosen by match sponsor MC Works. And after the game, that after the presentation of the United Counties Football League trophy, Diamonds and fans alike had a brilliant celebration that all could enjoy. It's been a long season with plenty of ups and downs on the way. Certainly the majority of ups and the Diamonds, the management, the players and fans alike can enjoy the fact that the club are now champions and can look forward to a season in the next division. The final league game is at home to Cookenau United on Saturday. Right, now we've, uh, we're joined by Andy Peaks and a little bit of uh, silverware. Andy, over the last season and a half, I've asked you many stupid questions. I'm going to now ask you the most stupid that you've ever been asked. How do you feel? Absolutely delighted to get my hands on this. Yeah. And it's a year to the day since you're officially appointed as AFC Russian and Diamonds manager. Um, what's happened? It's been an eventful year, mate, that's all I would say, but I'm delighted how it's gone. 
And um, we've spoke throughout the season about um, how um, positive you've been about winning the league. Do you feel now that that is uh, mission achieved? Yeah, I said from day one when I got the players in I wanted, I got the backroom staff I wanted with Lammy, Biff, Kelly. I felt we'd have a good chance of doing well. I didn't go overboard with successes and I didn't go underboard with defeats. And that's how it's been. We've took each game as it comes, including today, and we've got to where we are. Well, let's talk a little bit about today then. A fairly co comfortable win. Yeah, I thought it was a bit scrappy game, wasn't it? which it was always going to be, but I don't think we played as well as we can play, Dave. But I think good teams find a way of winning, and we did exactly that. Better the after the Lord Mayor's party, do you think? I think it was always going to be, weren't it, really? But it was important we got a result. <laughs> And a uh, couple of nice goals to finish off in. More importantly, I'll speak for anybody, a clean sheet. Yeah, clean sheet was important. Finis deserves that. He's been brilliant all season, so I was pleased for him. Yeah, we had a couple of chances and took him, and we're happy. Move on again. OK, we've still got uh, two more games left. Uh, Cook now here on Saturday. Um, how's he looking for that? Have you thought about that yet? Yeah, of course I have. You know I'll work by now, Dave. I want to win next Saturday. I want to win the following game as well. That's, that's how I am. Yeah. So the... Uh, Two of the four achievements ticked off then today. Two done, yeah, that's right. We're nearly there. Not yeah. quite. A couple more weeks, hopefully we ticked all the boxes. We'll train again this week ready for Saturday. Then we'll train again next week ready for the cup final. And then we'll chill for a couple of weeks. Brilliant. Right, Andy, I'll let you get to your players because I'm sure uh, you've got plenty you want to say to them. Thanks very much and uh, see you next week. It's been a pleasure. Cheers, mate. Thank right. you. Yeah. All right, I'm now with the man of the match for today's match. Uh, yes, Declan Rogers. Congratulations, Dec. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, everyone's in a celebratory mood for sure today. It has to feel good uh, winning promotion, uh, winning the title, the whole thing here at home at the Dog and Duck. Yeah, it's been a great day, and the fans have been awesome as well. It's just, it's the weather brought the weather, so everyone's in good spirit. And, uh, yeah, it's been great to lift the trophy as well. What do you think about today's game? I mean, in parts of the first half, it almost felt like a preseason friendly to me, uh, trying to get really into the match. Yeah, I think it was the, con the, the weather conditions as well that got to us, and it was a bit hot, and uh, it was a bit slow to start off with. But second half, we, uh, we dug deep, and we got one goal, um, yeah, and then it went from there, really. And we always looked like we were going to win the game at the end. Tell us about your goal there in the uh, 50th minute. Yeah, someone just, I think it was their defender, just edited it and I just sort of reacted to it and it went through uh, the other centre-half's leg into the net. So it was good. It was good to get my 27th goal of the season as well. So going out with a bang, really. Oh, yeah. You had a great season. Uh, you were with Huntington, right, yes. for most uh, for a lot of the season. We're certainly glad you joined us here at uh, AFC Russian Diamonds. Yeah, I've loved every minute of it and I'm, I'm glad I made the switch, if I'm honest. Um, and hopefully do it next season as well. That sounds good. Scott Joseph, of course, then finished off the scoring in the 81st minute. Scott, he's been on a scoring spree as of late. Yeah, I think that's seven in what, four or something like that. It's something, yeah, it's been great. It's, he, like, he's, he's, not, he's had his fair share. Um, he, didn't, he wasn't there first, first half of the season. He was struggling in and out. But, oh, mate, since he's been, been starting, he's been a great um, addition to the team. So how do you approach the next game? Uh, Cook uh, here at home next Saturday, uh, hopefully going for over 100 points on the season. Yeah, hopefully we just we get down to it. Hopefully the because of this week um, we haven't um, sort of a, sort of a, uh, just just got to dig deep. Just got to dig deep. Um, next week hopefully just um, have a bit about us and just hopefully get the three points so we can finish over 100 points. Well, I'm sure we'll have another good professional performance yeah, and then you've got the cup final. Yeah. That, that'll be fun too. Yeah. Oh, I'm not involved in that, which is sad. Oh. I'm cup tied. Cup uh, tied. Well, you'll be a spectator. Yeah, well, maybe you'll, a jo spectator. Maybe you'll join us in the commentary box there. The cup as well. <laughs> well, very good. Well, thank you for your time. I feel like I'm Ant here with Deck, so I had to get that in there. I'm sure you've heard that before, but uh, thank you, Deck. Man of the match, well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Thank you.